Okay, uh, by now you should have the, uh, the pants and the uh, t-shirt done. And now we're going to go get into the medieval Templar Knights. The pants and t-shirt project was essentially just to get you used to uh, using Quadra. Um, and now um, Quadra is pretty much one of the best ways to draw characters. Um, you know, uh, any uh, accessories on a particular character. So um, now we're going to get into it. Um, you have probably already downloaded uh, the Gladiator one. If not, go ahead and download that one. And then also download this one as well. And um, start a new project. Um, and um, I called mine version two. Um, but go ahead and download it and get these two. Um, models inside your uh, drawing. I'm going to go ahead and pause my um, pause and uh, I'll come back with uh, my models inside. Okay. Um, I basically just drag and drop the files in, uh, downloaded them and just drag and drop and they open up uh, beautifully. Um, the reason why I'm doing this is because of these sandals on the gladiator. I like the stance on the gladiator. Um, and how his arms are draped, but uh, this other guy, his uh, his arms coming way out, I don't care for. So I do like that he is barefooted, and so that'll be very useful. Uh, I'm going to basically uh, swap out his um, shins, calves, and foot for the gladiators. So I'm going to remove the gladiators, and and then I'm going to um, replace them with this. So we're going to do some Frankenstein stuff right now. Um, let's have at it. So let's get remove um, the gladiators um, portion. Um, and so we'll go ahead and select um, the entire group. I hit Control One, and now it's isolated. Uh, now we're going to select faces, and if I haven't showed you this, um, this, what I just did is I selected um, multiple um, faces on this, on this particular row all the way around. So if you um, hold shift uh, on the second one that you select, and then double click, Oops. It'll select it like the entire band and then control delete. And now I am, yeah. See, this is what I don't like about control delete. Control delete. There we go. Now I want to select all this. Control delete. Control delete. I don't know what that is, but I'm delete that too. Delete. Delete. All right. So now that we have this situated, um, right click. Right click, go to object mode, and then uh, hit control one. Control, what control one does is it isolates. Oops. It isolates um, an object. So now I want to um, see where I need to. So let's click on faces and then let's, let's make an edge loop. Let's see if I can make an edge loop. Go. I think I like that. Okay. 
just trying to match that. So let me go ahead and do that again. Um, I just hold shift, right click, and then uh, go to multi cut, and then I can cut that. So uh, now enter. Great. Um, now what I can do is. Oops. Select everything below. I'm just going to go ahead and delete that. Control delete. And now, oops, wrong way. This way. Oops. Delete. I don't want to um, delete everything below, I want to delete everything above. So, um, I know this is kind of weird, uh, but if you need to isolate, you can isolate. In fact, I'm probably going to isolate just to make sure. Oops. Yep. All right. And now what I'm going to do, so I have um, this in symmetry mode. I'm going to turn that off. I want to turn that off because I need to move this object right here. And now they're they're combined together. So if you hold shift and go down to separate, now they're separate. Do that. I want to do this, and now I want to move this. Oh, I guess I have two of them. Which one? I think this one I need to do. Control delete. I may have to, yeah, separate. There we go. All right, let me go ahead and move these. I'm going to go ahead and move these. And let's, I think that's good. And now let's move this one as well. I think that's good. Let's go back to symmetry. We're probably going to have to um, reconnect these again. But in the meantime, what we need to do, let's change this a little bit, is to merge these. And let's go to edge. Let's see if we can try bridge. All right, so uh, the bridge isn't going to work. So let's go ahead and select. So I'm going to select one, then hold shift and double click. And now we're going to uh, lift this up and then rotate it. And if your rotate thing is too big like this, you can just hit minus. And yeah. Right, probably resize this a little bit, and then we can. Again, it's not going to be perfect, but you can get it perfect uh, for the sake of this video. I'm just going to go quickly. Um, right, I want to pause it and then I'm going to do the other side. So it's close enough. I'm just going to go ahead and mirror it. And then, uh, right, 
now I need to do the quadro. So select the object, make sure you uh, click on live, um, make sure that you have your uh, symmetry on, and then hold shift, right click, select quadro, and pretty much uh, just do the same when you're creating the armor. Uh, we're going to use your reference sheet. Make sure you have your reference sheet pulled up. And we're going to go ahead and try and make this uh, chest piece. Now, it looks like there's a little skirt at the end of it so the chainmail can hang off of it. Um, also, looks like there's a. Let's zoom in. Yeah, so there's a seam here, there's a seam there. You can't really tell because this is covering up, but I'm assuming there is a seam here, almost like a cut off sleeve shirt. Let's zoom in. Yeah, I can tell what else down here. There's uh, arms through. So, yeah, seam, seam. I'm sure there's a collar here. All right, well, let's go ahead and start modeling it. Um, so everyone's familiar with Quadraw by now. Uh, let's go ahead and start with the collar. Connect these. And I think I want this higher up. we go um, and now I'll just uh, make sure I create everything up until here so I want to create a seam here um, I think that's good probably need to be a bit bigger um, so yeah I'm thinking so, so let's, let's start down here because this head needs to get through this piece Go. Here we go. And then like this. Thank you. 
Let's a little tighter. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause the video, and make the rest, um, and then we'll go from right now. I'm going to go ahead and relax the geometry. So let's do that. So, oops. Remember, just hold shift and kind of brush. Go. That's a pretty good typology. I'm um, probably going to add some edge loops to uh, in to fence in uh, some of the edges. And so let's go ahead and do that. Shift right. So let's do that. Do this. On that side, there we I could probably be soft right there. Um, and now we want edge loop here because this part is going to act like that skirt. So let's let's select these vertices. So Pull these out a little bit. Okay, let's go to vertex and let's move these. Actually, we will resize these. Um, so now, when you go to try and resize these, like you see, you can't do that. It's where you can flare it out a little bit. Uh, that's because this is on right here. Uh, when you make the object live, it pretty much glues itself to the skin of this model. So you can take that out, and now you can just start pulling things uh, out to create this. skirt portion of oops. And there we go. Seems all right. Let's check. No. We can probably pull on some of these. So 
they aren't that close onto the body. All right, and then mouse object mode, or actually faces. There we go. It's not what I want to face. There we go. Now we're going to extrude. Oh, I'm going to select all these. Then hit extrude. And let's pull it out. Don't want to make it too thick. Uh, we'll probably let's, probably need more edge loops because it's um, his chest and all his muscles are going through. So hold shift, uh, select multi cut, and oops. Add more edge loops. And I think that might be good. Put that somewhere here. All right, let's select all that. Let's extrude it. Yep, I think that's good enough. And there you have the armor. Um, and then you just work your way down because um, he's going to have some chain mail. So let's zoom out of it. So he's going to have some chain mail that wraps around and then these little uh, front pieces. Um, so we'll have to create those the thigh um, and leg pieces. We'll get done in the next.